Good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. It's been a hell of a week, y'all. Um, wow. Can we talk about Mercury in retrograde? Because holy crap. Pretty much everything that I've done this week has had to be redone. If I could spill it, drop it, smash it, trip over it. I've done it, y'all. It's just been weird. Um, exhibit A. It's stock, kinda. This one and its sister are a little better, um, probably salvageable. And then there's this, which I can't even pour out because, which I can't even pour out because it's jello. But actually that might be okay. If it's jello, that probably means that I can spoon it off and then freeze it, right? This, there's nothing to spoon off. There's there's maybe, maybe a half inch of soup. Everything below that is egg. So I decided with my eight quarts of really good stock that what I really wanted to do was clarify it and that would make it perfect, right? So I looked on YouTube about how to clarify this nonsense, to do it with an egg raft, and things just went terribly wrong. So yeah, I went to clarify my stock and instead I made some really gross chicken custard. Anyway, I consulted with a friend of mine who's a chef. He said to put it in the fridge and let it settle and hopefully separate, which thank goodness it did. So I'm gonna spoon off the part that looks like it's not all egg into a pot, reheat it, taste it. If it's okay, we'll freeze it. Hopefully we can get the soup out without the eggy nonsense underneath it. Can you see what's going on here? Just sort of gently scraping down to the place where the egg looks like it's suspended in there. All right, we got a couple of Got about a half a cup out of that. A little bit I wanna get rid of. So we got about a half a cup out of that, which not too bad. Let's see what the rest of it looks like. Remember I started with eight quarts. We're down to far less than that. Okay, this looks pretty good. I don't see any eggy nonsense in here. So let's just pop it right in there. And it is jiggly. It's supposed to be jiggly. It's really good stock. Um, some people will call this bone broth. I call it stock. Let's see about you. Yeah, this one doesn't look too bad either. Let's pour that right in. Bloop. All right, there's some stuff in here that looks like it might have gotten involved with egg. All right, so that's, this feels better. And then this one's gonna be trickier again. Let's see what we can do here. Nope, not you. I'm just trying to scrape the surface off here. I don't want to scrape it down too far and pick up all that egg.
Okay. Okay, so the rest of that is a lost cause. I am just, it just hurts my feelings. You know, this stuff sat on the stove for like, probably 13 or 14 hours and I ruined it. <laughs> um, but it looks like some of it should be salvageable. I'm going to bring this pot up to temp and pop it in the fridge again and see if it will settle. Um, if we can get it to settle, we'll be in good shape. So yeah, it's been a hell of a week. Um, it rained like all get out for like three or four days. The chicken coop flooded. Well, not the, the structure itself, but the run just so muddy. And my girls were cold and really unhappy, which meant I was really unhappy and spent a lot of time just worrying about them. Um, yeah, at the beginning of the week, I was feeling like a poorly educated um, pet owner at that point because I was just so upset about these chickens being so upset. So that took up a little time and we had to get a tarp to go over the top of the, the run. Um, there was a lot of mucking up the run and pulling in straw. My chickens love straw. Oh my goodness. I've never seen them so happy as when I give them a hunk of straw to mess around with. Um, but it does mean that after it rains, I got to get in there and muck the whole thing out because dude, straw stays wet forever. That's why we like it in the garden so much. Um, but yeah, you know, Lib had his graduation party a week ago last Saturday, which was fantastic. Everybody was vaccinated and we were able to hang out together. Um, but I'm still recovering from that. <laughs> I'm of a certain vintage. I need a few minutes to get my bearings back after such an event. And did I mention, I think one of our chickens is actually a rooster. I mean, look at that tail. I'm trying to get my feet back under me, salvage some stock maybe, and indulge in some emotional eating. Okay, so I tasted the stock and it doesn't taste like egg, not even a little bit. So I think we're gonna be able to salvage this. I'm going to pour it into the beaker bucket and pop it in the fridge overnight and just make sure that we don't have any more eggy sediment. And if we do, I'll be able to scrape the top off and uh, freeze this stuff. Okay, so it looks like we have just shy of three quarts, um, which honestly, it makes me sad because I started with something like eight quarts. Um, but I'm just glad to have any. Honestly, after the mess I made attempting to clarify this, I am thrilled to have anything. Um, so, yeah, let's put it in the fridge overnight and we'll see how it does. So it's tomorrow. Uh, let's see how our soup did. Let's take a look in the fridge and see what's going on with that Bega bucket. Y'all, I'm feeling encouraged. I'm not seeing very much sink to the bottom at all. So we probably got a good three quarts out of that. Crisis averted, yay! I'm gonna package everything up and put it in the freezer and just pretend this didn't happen. <laughs> um, I don't know what happened with that whole clarification mess, but I probably won't be trying it again anytime soon. <laughs> Thank you for letting me vent. I had a lot of complaints the last few days and I appreciate your ear. <laughs> so thanks for hanging out. I will catch you up soon. Take care.